All right, welcome to Hogan Racing, guys. Today, I'm gonna do a little how to drift on car X drift racing. As far as like the tuning settings go, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of that. This will be relevant on Xbox, PS4, PC, even mobile. I tune them the same for all platforms. Let me, let me switch cars real quick. Whoa, what happened? I haven't been on here for a little bit. My settings are all messed up. No, Hachiroku. We're gonna buy a brand new car. I'm gonna get the Panther M5. I don't have that car. Just wasted five grand. We're, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I would get this thing to drift and how to drift as well. Okay, so starting out, click on mods after you buy your car. If you have it unlocked, definitely get the, the ultimate setup. Okay, so now we have 580 horsepower. That is actually kind of obnoxious, um, but it's gonna make learning in this game really easy. So it's not bad out of the box. So that's good. Let's look at controller settings. So this is kind of how I map everything out. You guys are welcome to take a screenshot. Write that down, write that down. I would really, really highly recommend running manual with clutch in really all these video games. I think it helps you have a lot more control and it kind of adds a realism factor, which makes it more fun in my opinion. As far as the game settings. So you guys are welcome to screenshot this as well. You got your car, got your settings worked out. That's pretty much it. Um, now how to drift. So I would start out just trying to figure out how to do donuts. The nice thing is the game counter steers for you. That's kind of why controller assist is nice. It just gets kind of counterintuitive when you're using a controller. With the steering wheel, it's a different game and you definitely don't want to have any kind of counter steer assist on. When you have a setup car like this where it has extra power, you can really just kind of throttle over. So I'm just going to start turning left, pull the throttle down. What I want you guys to kind of figure out is the control of just keeping a consistent donut. If you want to transfer or basically go the other way, you're gonna turn the car the other way, let go of the throttle for a second, and get back on throttle. So we're going this way. And we wanna turn around. We just steer to the other side, let go of the throttle, get back on, right? So now we got figure eights and donuts down. Guys, this game is pretty easy to get started, and that's the great thing about it. So now that we're on track, how do we kind of approach this? So again, just a power over is fine. I don't like this car set up exactly. We didn't really tune it at all, so we're gonna play with that as well. But just basically throttle over, and all you're really doing is steering and modulating the throttle. We're gonna go back and I'm gonna show you guys kind of what I would do to change this car to make it better. The gearing's like super short. So you should be able to stay on throttle a lot more than this. See how I'm having to modulate it so much? That's because it's set up kind of really loose and how it floats out like that. I don't really like that. One big key thing is, if you're banging rev limiter, go up in a gear. You don't wanna be sitting there banging rev limiter. I know I was doing that in donuts, but I was just kind of showing you guys an example. So really, all you're doing is you're looking at the track and you're just kind of following the way it goes. So a good thing you can kind of do, unless there's clipping points, clipping points are like little cones and areas where they want you to go on the track. When you do like the competitions, they have those, but when you're just practicing, just kind of follow like the outer wall. So we'll go over this way, fourth gear seems Ooh. nice, oh it's so loose. So I'm going to go and play, with the, play around with this car a little bit. Okay, so let's start with engine, just max everything out, alright? That's the best part about this game is just going nuts. So now we have 670 horsepower, put our rev limiter all the way up. On this car, I would do a 17 inch front and an 18 inch rear. Um, that not only looks cool, but allows you to keep the car kind of flat rather than having it like angled all weird. Default front tire setting is usually pretty decent. One thing you can do is mess with wheel adhesion, but that starts to get a lot harder to drive and more advanced. So I would just drop the tire pressure down from like 200 to, let's try 140. Suspension. Definitely want to drop it down some, but not too crazy. There's definitely like a a sweet spot in this game. That's what I do like about the realism, is if you drop it like ignorant low, it will bottom out kind of everywhere. So front spring stiffness, I always just bump that up a little bit. 
Rear spring stiffness, I would probably leave. I wouldn't mess with rebound or bump at this point. Front camber. Drift cars like front camber. We're basically looking for a flat contact patch when we're at angle. Four and a half degrees of front camber usually does it, so. Rear camber. Always, 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 every video game, real life, every car, zero camber. Front toe. We always want to run a little bit of toe out, so we actually want the tires, if this is the front of the car, we want them pointed outward a little bit. That helps with turning, and it helps make it a little bit more snappy. Rear toe, I usually will go toe in a little bit. For now, we're just gonna leave that at zero. Caster, you usually wanna run around seven to eight degrees in real life. Ackerman angle, 100%. Steering angle, max it out. All right, so that's basically our suspension settings. Front wheel track, just make it look good. Brakes. Brake bias, I like running at like 80%. All right, let's see if these changes work. Yeah, so now this thing like hooks up way, way faster. It's, it's trickier to drift, but it actually like grips now. Oh, maybe too much. Ah! So the reason why I like clutch on is because when you're hand braking, you can basically clutch in but still be on throttle. This is a real life technique. So we'll hand brake, clutch in, and then we'll already get on throttle and let go of the clutch. So it kind of does a little clutch kick coming off a hand brake. Also, one more little how to drift tip trick. Stick rolling is like, it changed my life. Rather than turning like this, you basically push it forward and you kind of roll it back and forth. So this thing feels pretty good now. So really at this point, now you've tuned your car, you know how to do donuts. It's really about just kind of figuring out what your handbrake does, what clutch kicks do. So clutch kick, if I'm on throttle and I hit the, the left bumper so I modulate the clutch, it actually disrupts the drivetrain and helps the RPMs kind of fly up. So you can watch that in my rep and my RPM. So watch where to throttle. See it? So yeah, with just like quick tuning, this car feels pretty good. And this is a car I've never driven before. Before this video, I really just kind of dove in on it on video with you guys. And so it shows like you start with those base adjustments and then you kind of tune from there. All right, let's go online and try to get some doors and I'll kind of show you the difference with like a real a little crazier car. We're just gonna hop in behind. So you know your car is working well when you can be in turn at high angle and just be like full, full throttle and it's not spinning out, it's gripping up, it's actually accelerating through the turns. So when I'm tandeming, just some little tips for that, so this like, video kind of covers a lot of it. But when I'm tandeming, I'm like pretty much staring at the guy in front of me. So if he's gonna hit the wall, I'm gonna hit the wall with him. So I'm trying to follow his line, follow his angle, just do it, mimic what he's doing and be kind of as close as possible without hitting him. Guys, well that's pretty much it. I know it was like a brief overview of a lot of different stuff. Comment below if you guys want me to do some more car drift racing how-tos. Also, we just dropped a bunch of new merch on hogginracing.com. Go check that out before it sells out, and we'll see you guys soon. Say goodbye, guy Jen.